It could be Kim Jong-un's first trip outside North Korea in more than four years. According to U.S. media, White House officials say the leader may be gearing up to visit Vladimir Putin later this month, topping the agenda for talks, possible arms deals to bolster Russian forces on the battlefields of Ukraine. It's plans that have set off alarm bells for Washington. Last week, officials expressed concerns that negotiations between the two countries were, quote, actively advancing. Now, under these potential deals, Russia would receive significant quantities and multiple types of munitions from the DPRK, which the Russian military plans to use in Ukraine. We urge the DPRK to cease its arms negotiations with Russia and abide by the public commitments that Pyongyang has made to not provide or sell arms to Russia. North Korean artillery shells and anti-tank missiles are reportedly on Moscow's wish list. In exchange for the weapons, Pyongyang has its eyes on Russia's satellite technology and nuclear-powered submarines. The talks would follow a recent visit to Pyongyang by Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu, where U.S. officials say he tried to persuade North Korea to sell ammunition to Russia. The two countries have grown closer in the wake of Moscow's war. Last year, Washington accused North Korea of supplying arms to the Russian mercenary group Wagner to use in Ukraine. The United States sanctioned all those involved in the sale. On Monday, Russia confirmed the two sides are also considering holding joint naval exercises with China, a first for North Korea.